right? In this video, we're going to be subtracting two algebraic fractions or rational expressions, we call them. I like to begin problems like this just by factoring anything and everything that I can. So I'm gonna take that first fraction and I'm gonna factor its denominators. Looks like I've got x to the second plus six x plus eight. And I'm gonna factor that to x plus four times x plus two. So I ask myself, what two numbers would multiply to give me eight, but would add to give me six? And that was my four and two there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the second fraction. So I'm gonna leave the three on top and I'm gonna factor that x to the second plus five x plus six into x plus three, x plus two. Again, thinking what two numbers would multiply to give me six, but add to give me five, that had to be the three and two. So what I'm ready to do now is to form the common denominator. Now the common denominator looks like it's gotta have an x plus four in it, an x plus two, and an x plus three. We don't need the additional x plus two because we've already got one. So we're gonna multiply this first fraction by what's missing, and that is the x plus three. So I'm gonna multiply the top by x plus three and the bottom by x plus three. I'll go ahead and put parentheses around it. And I'm gonna multiply the second fraction by what's missing, which is the x plus four. Again, I'm gonna put parentheses around it. And let's clean it up just a little bit. So look at the top of the first fraction. I'm gonna multiply these two together. I've got four x, times x plus three, and then do the same for the, uh, for the second one. So I've got minus three x plus four. And then on the bottom, remember my common denominator, it had the x plus four, the x plus two, and the x plus three. Okay, so I've combined them, but now I need to clean up this top. And the way I clean up the top is to distribute. I'll distribute the 4x to this first parentheses. So 4x times x gives me 4x to the second. 4x times 3 gives me 12x. For the second fraction, I want you to be careful. You're going to be distributing negative 3 to the second fraction. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Now, notice we haven't done anything with the denominator, and I wouldn't. I honestly would leave my denominator still factored like this. Um, that way, if I find anything that can cancel, I'll easily see it. But what I need to do now is to go ahead and combine these two like terms. So 12x minus 3x is going to give me 9x. And I'm going to leave my denominator, as we said, just like it is. And friends, that's it. We have combined these two. We've subtracted them and then simplified where we could. 